Sleeves here, out for an overnight in the Cahutta Wilderness. Thought I would share with you how I hang my bear bag. So come on over and uh, let me show you how I do it. One of the first things you want to do is to find a tree that has a branch somewhere around 20 25 feet that seems to work best and in this particular case i've chosen this tree here and we're going to uh, hang our bag first let me tell you what i keep in my uh, my bag put all of my food my trash bag that i keep all of my trash in and also my toiletry bag there's a lot of scented things in the in a toiletry bag so i keep that in here as well one item that uh, always stays with me is my TP. You might want to keep that with you. But uh, other than that, it's in my bag. So uh, let me show you how I hang it. I have about 50 feet of line. This particular line is um, glow in the dark. It, it allows you to find it at night. It has a little uh, embedded thread that glows when struck by light. So that's pretty, pretty neat. But uh, this is what I keep with me. And one of the things that I keep on the end of my line at all times is a bowling knot. Makes a great loop and uh, really firm. So a bowling knot on the end, always keep that on the end of it. So many people use a small bag that they place the rock in and then secure the uh, bag to uh, the line but I've just found it's just as easy to use the line and just a rock. So let me show you how I do that. So I just pass the line back through the, the loop, place the rock in it, secure it, and it's ready to toss over. Now that I have my line across the limb, I attach my uh, bag to it. Some people use carabiners for this. I found that it's, it's easy for me just to use my bag as it is because it has the detachable uh, loop. Oh, I do. Open it up, take my loop from the bowling knot, put it inside, clip it, and it is uh, ready to go. One thing you want to do is uh, once you get your bag attached to the bowling loop is you'll want to make sure that you place the other part of your line through the, your bag clip. That way it will pull through like this. You can see how you can pull it through. You want to do a clove hitch and I'm going to show it just right here in front of the camera, but then I will pull back and let you see where I do it when I actually hang the bag. But the way, uh, the way you'll want to do the clove hitch is make a loop, twist it up, make another loop, twist it, and that provides a loop for your your stick just like that now I use a longer stick if you're using a carabiner you won't have to use this long of a stick I use a pretty long stick so that it won't pass through the bag uh, when it's clipped
uh, you will want to reach up as high as you can to uh, place that clove hitch. I always try to place the bag about six feet from the tree and hanging down from the limb about six feet. Always seems to work best for me. One of the things I like about this particular method is that there's no need to attach the line to any tree or to hold it up. It secures itself. To get your bag down, all you do is pull it. Release the clove hitch. And if you can get a smooth stick, it works best because it's easier to pull through. But remove your stick and then just drop it right back down. Take your bag and pull your line off the branch. Good stuff. I believe I have heard this technique described as the PCT method. I hope you find this bear bag hanging technique useful. There are plenty of videos on YouTube describing a similar method, and I know you can pick up some uh, neat tips from them as well. But this, this method works well for me, and uh, I like to use it. So till next time, this is Sleeves. Keep hiking.